All right, this is your end of the line Prusik knot. All I'm gonna do is start at the ready roll position, which is six to eight inches from the running ends. I'm gonna drop one side, throw my line on the rope, and I'm gonna do two wraps either to the right or to the left. There, I'm gonna come across, make my locking bar, and do two wraps going in. Right now, you should see four tires and one locking bar. On the side with my longer rope, I'm gonna do an overhand knot, which means my running end's on top. I'm gonna take my opposite running end, go through the hole, around the tree, and back through the center. The end product should be four fingers on the main line, ending with the bowline. Right, I'm going to show you how to tie your water tape knot. Start six to eight inches from the running end. All I'm going to do is drop one end. I'm going to make pistol fingers and take my, ru my running end, wrap it around my fingers, creating a loop. Take my running end and shoot the center of the loop. From there, I'm going to trace out my tubular nylon and I'm gonna go behind this line. And trace all of the other lines and go back through. From there, I'm just gonna cinch it down. Water tape knot. Around Show you how to tie a square knot. I'm going to start 12 to 16 inches from the running ends of my sling rope. I'm going to go left over right, twist, and then right over left. Now you'll notice that one side, the square knot is going up, and the other side is going down. With the side going up, I'm going to follow the locking bar and create an overhand. The other side that's going down, I'm gonna take my running end and go down with it and create an overhand. That is just square knot. All right, this is your Blake's hitch. Blake's hitch breaking right. I'm gonna drop one end and I'm gonna tie to my left five tires. From there, I'm going to even out my lines. Take the same side I've been tying with, come across, forming a locking bar, and go through the first two wraps coming from my right to left. To close this off, I'm going to tie a double fisherman's. That is your Blake's hitch. This is your round turn two half hitches. I'm gonna drop one end of the rope, take my line, throw it over, and do one wrap. From there, I'm gonna take my running end, go over the top of my other line, and shoot the hole, forming a hitch. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Stay on the top, go through the hole, and cinch down. My end product, should be a figure eight. Round turn, two half inches. This is your bowline. I'm gonna drop one end of the rope, put the line over, I'll make an overhand knot, meaning my running end's on top. Take my opposite line, go from the top to the bottom, go around the tree, and shoot the middle. From there, I'm gonna make a safety, following the locking bar of the bowline. Which is just an overhand knot. Bowling.